Trey Young put on a show last postseason against the Knicks and the 76ers. Now his coach has an interesting comparison of how Trey can take the next step. Nate McMillan told Sports Illustrated he's got one of those fast cars. You can't drive that car the same way on a sunny day as you can when it's raining and snowing out there. And he was playing fast. He was taking the same shots that he was taking in the first quarter and in the fourth quarter. He wasn't adapting to conditions. It's similar to Michael Jordan when he first came into the league. He started to trust his teammates and then he started winning championships. Now, last season, Trey was fourth in points created behind only Westbrook, Harden, and Luka. But this is more about the how Trey is doing it. And Perk, what do you think of Nate McMillan's analogy on Trey's growth this season? You know what? I actually love it. And, and I think people would take it out of context. But what he's saying is, is that, hey, I have a superstar. Yes, Trey Young is a superstar. And we all know that he's capable of going out there and getting, you know, 30 or 28 to 30 points a night. But the good ones do it on the, at, at a high efficiency rate. The great ones do it at a high efficiency rate and making others around him better. So what he's telling Trey Young is, is that, hey, I love the numbers. We know that you're a superstar. I love the numbers. I love the stats. I love everything about your game. Now let's take it to another level. Let's be more efficient and let's make others around us better. I used to tell guys all the time, hey, look, first through sec first, second, and third quarter, the superstars that I play with, hey, get others involved. In the fourth quarter, take it over. This is why you get paid the big bucks. And this is how you get to that level of winning championships. Because, again, this is not an individual sport like boxing or tennis. You actually need your teammates to help you win. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought the analogy was great. It really put in perspective and gave you the feeling of understanding that he was playing fast and maybe sometimes slowing it down. Uh, have, have, allows you to have a better grasp of, of the game. But, Zach, do you think that Trey Young's game can take even another step this season? Yeah, and I think, I think the transition Nate McMillan is talking about already started happening last year. The last 20, 30 games of the season into the playoffs, you could see him get in the lane and instead of prodding, 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 waiting for that pass that will get him an assist every time, if the defense converges, hey, here, Kevin Herter, you make a play. DeAndre Hunter, you make a play. You make a dribble, drive, and kick. We'll keep the machine moving. I might not get an assist. Maybe I'll get a hockey assist, but guess what? Everyone feels more involved. The offense starts flowing a little better. I still get my numbers because I'm Trey freaking young and I'm amazing. Yes. And guys, when they feel involved on offense, Perk can talk about this. When guys feel involved in offense, players talk about this all the time, it flows over to the other end. They're willing to give more on defense. They play harder. The spirit of the game changes. It's a small little change. It doesn't require a total reinvention of Trey Young's game. But you can see it start happening last year. And I think it's one of the reasons the Hawks did as well as they did in the playoffs. And also, you can't. <laughs> Zach, get you diving. You boy, hey Zach, diving into deep game analysis because that can. He was so right. Look, seriously, we used to start when I was with the Thunder. We used to make sure that we got Serge Ibaka. The, we ran the first play of the game for Serge Ibaka. You know why? Once he got involved offensively, we knew we was going to get eight to ten blocks that game. Look at Zach. I mean, Perk, hmm. have you ever read a Zach Lowe article? Those things take you about 25 <laughs> minutes to read. Like, there's a whole down, darn breakdown. You know, he, he's going to break it down for you. I haven't seen a full hour of Zach speaking the gospel. Right, right. I look at you. I will say you can't, you can't teach uh, the type of confidence that Trey Young has. So that's a good starting point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.